Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 160. I'm Nate Moore. Today we're going to do another easy function. Uh, it's called trim. And before we get to trim, let me uh, show you one shortcut. There is a... Uh, notice how my uh, my cursor changes from an arrow or this kind of plus to that. And you can make a column a lot wider that way. The other thing you can do is you can double click on this little uh, bar between column in and column O or between any other columns and it'll automatically scroll down through the list of data that you have here and it'll say hey I'll make this just big enough to show all your data. Well sometimes when you're dumping data out of an old system like an old practice management system in the old days what they used to do is they'd say hey I've got a field or an area to put data and I'm going to save 40 spaces for it or 50 characters for it and then what they would do is if they had more room at the end of the data they just fill it with spaces and that's what's going on with this data here see when I try to do the double click thing and, and shrink this up I can't and one hint if you come over here and click um, or hit um, if you if we go here and hit F2 either way notice how my cursor is way out here or way out here as opposed to next to the V like you think it ought to be and it's because the 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 system that you pulled the data from has filled all the empty spaces with spaces and when it dumps it into Excel, Excel picks up all the spaces too. Well you could go through here and do this delete thing but that gets old pretty fast. The other thing you can do is use this function called trim and all trim does is it just takes one parameter and it says where's the text you want to trim all the extra spaces out of and it gets rid of all the spaces in a text string except single spaces between words. So it's going to keep that space between the comma and the J and the S and the V in his middle initial. Everything else it's going to clean up. So if we do this trim and uh, trim this and trim this one, now when I do something like that and double click, it'll shrink it up. I want to show you one more trick while we're in here. It's an easy one. A lot of times when I clean up data, rather than have one column here and another column here and it's cleaned up here and then hide this or whatever, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do let's do shift in and down select all the data I'll do copy and go on top of the data I'm fixing and do paste special and get the values and if I do that let's just um, escape out of here now if you come over here and I hit F2 see the cursor's right next to the A and Jennifer A. Davis or if I come here and click up here my cursor's right next to Charles L. Garcia's L I've cleaned up all the spaces and because I've done a copy and paste special now I can get rid of that trim column and I don't need my function or my formula anymore and these are fixed and I've got rid of the trailing spaces that um, bring in the data over uh, dumped in on me. That's when I've used trim is when I've imported data and it's had a bunch of extra spaces at the end. Maybe there's another use for it and you're welcome to comment on the blog and say this is when I've used it. But that's when I use it. When I dump data in and I get extra spaces, there's an easy way to get rid of all the extra stuff that I don't need. I've got another kind of a, kind of a different uh, uh, text-based formula to show you next time. It's called REPT. It stands for repeat. And we'll, we'll uh, go through repeat next time. See you then.